This is a quick and dirty power supply for a Nintendo 64 I want to test because the other one needs new caps and I'll buy a power supply if it needs it. It's not worth, you know, they're cheap enough. There's no point in sitting replacing the capacitors in it after finding out what they are and whatnot. But, ground, 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 it's 12 volt and two 3.3 volts. So, computer power supply, again, as ever, they will run just about anything. And I have the joy of using the good leaded solder that came with my soldering iron. This is the good excuse for doing this in the first place. I suspect that they sent leaded solder because yeah it is much easier to work with and will make you feel like you have a great soldering iron but it did come in this little stand thing and it doesn't really work because you know you just get the sponge in the way because the sponge expands bigger than the thing once it gets water on yeah that'll do sure real trick here will actually just be uh, grinding everything sensibly. Or not grinding everything sensibly, bridging these out without buggering it up. Um, when I say the real trick, I mean that for me because I am horrendous at soldering. Uh, I could go make little wires I suppose, but I think a little bridge is feasible. Assuming that I don't succumb to lead poisoning. So that's that ground pin. The only reason I'm bridging them is because I want to do the minimum amount of work on this, except now I've bridged the wrong ones and it's a shambles. But I moved it and it worked. As Abe says, this is definitely in the realms of the bigger the gob, the better the job. so it doesn't need to be pretty or even work for very long. I don't see any shorts there to the other pins, so I presume that this will work just fine. Oh, and the 12 volts white on this weird old BTX power supply. And I know there's some people who love BTX boards because they're like, I suppose they have their own rearrangement and all that, but for the most part, I'm upset about, or well, I'm not upset about killing this old Dale, even if someone did need a kind of crappy BTX power supply, just on the basis that it has wronged me many times in the past. Solder, that's what I'm going to call this. Second. Ah, shit. No, no, not shit. The big problem here is, to be honest, the fact. I hate doing fiddly shit. If I do that. Yeah, there we go. And I've added some mass to it, this will be a little easier. I realize this is 
bad job. Mm. Big Gamma Solver first. Come on. Shite. Another problem. If I accidentally bridge to these pins, then that's also shorten it out. And it's becoming very apparent that it would be much easier to do this properly. I think there's a short between them, you know. Couldn't tell you for sure. I suppose I could, the multimeter's right there, and uh, I think I will do this given this fact that I have like one power supply that I, this one, that actually has a three and a half, or 3.3 .3 volt reel. Because the rest are weird proprietary ones that run on whatever they run on. And they're like that HP one. Uh, soldering the, well I took the header for <clears throat> from the motherboard that this power supply is attached to to make this happen job unity. I think this was sent for review and there was something wrong with it initially. I can't remember what it was. I don't think death will ensue, even though I've had the power supply turned on all this time, because, yeah, I just... Nothing time to see. So I'm just about to test it by fish. She's a terrible shrew. Yep. That's a joke, because, you know... Okay. I'm gonna turn this on first. Ha ha! This much works. <laughs> 